back. Gina Carano makes her return to the big screen after a battle with Hollywood cancel culture. Actress Gina Carano joins me now. Gina, they tried to cancel you. You're a fighter. It wasn't happening. You're back with a new movie, Terror on the Prairie. What happened? Why'd they go after you? You just, you know, you're, you're a tough one. You were the wrong one to pick a fight with. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I feel like I'm a really nice person. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't think I was doing or saying um, or towing the narrative that was happening. So I just, um, I don't know. I think they... I think they tried to make an example out of me, and in the process, they made an example out of themselves. Gina, you, again, you're like the wrong person to toy with. You put women's mixed martial arts like literally on the map. That was you. And they go after you, and they expected, I guess, some kind of you know, cowardly apology, and you just refused. You said, no, I'm going to double down. And matter of fact, I'm going to go over to Daily Wire, and we're going to do our own movie now and flip you both the double-barreled middle finger. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty nervy. I love that. Yeah, I just, um, I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of times I'm going to have to apologize in my life. I have so much to learn. Um, you know, I, I just voted for the first time in 2020, so it was just kind of, I'm just kind of finding my, my legs there. But, um when you don't have anything to apologize for and you're um, communicating in a very open and honest way, um, I just kept on thinking that there's going to be other little girls like me, there's going to be other people like me that um, aren't going to be able to handle what I went through as well. So I figured, you know, if I can't go through this, then how am I supposed to expect anybody else to? Um, and the Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro called me up and wanted to do a movie and, you know, punch back at Hollywood, which was... Um, I think it's going to be five years from now, something we're going to look back at and be like, oh, my gosh, we opened up a door. We opened up communication. We provided so much more hope. Um, and not to say that this isn't it's extremely hard. You know, it's not an easy thing to do or go through. But hopefully, I believe five years from now, we're going to look back and say this was the start of something the same way. Like I started fighting and it wasn't very popular then. I feel like I feel the same now so um well terror, <laughs> i guess this is just my journey <laughs> I, I, well, I got about a minute left i saw terror on the prairie you can check it out at daily wire folks the movie is spectacular i'm not just telling you that it is a really terrific movie you did a great job in the movie uh, one quick question Thanks. i got about 30 seconds left ronda rousey respects you so much she said you're the only person she would return to mma to fight are we gonna see gina carano lacing up the gloves again um <laughs> you know what i just never put it past me <laughs> It could happen. It just it would be it would be like you know six months from now because I have a lot of stuff I need to do. But my my fight really is with um I really want to create. I want to direct. I want to produce. I want to give artists. I want to give Ronda Rousey a job in one of my movies. So yeah. well, maybe there, there's something we could do she there. She can act too. <laughs> Gina, you're terrific. Yeah. Thanks for fighting a good fight. Terror on the Prairie, folks. Catch it at the Daily Wire. It's an awesome for coming on. It's an honor. To Thank you, Dan. You got it, Gina Carano, folks. Terror on the Prairie. Check it out. Before we go, remember you can.